Urban Outfitters, ticker URBN, is a lifestyle apparel retailer showing strong stock and revenue performance despite the recent difficult economic climate for the retail sector, and its outlook gives reason to be optimistic. In this video, I'll outline my reasons for why it is my contender for a high conviction trade for stock option premium sellers and traders of the wheel strategy. Before going forward, please understand that this video is made for entertainment purposes only and none of what I'm about to say in this video constitutes any financial advice. This is my own opinion about a publicly traded company and I urge you to research it yourself before you make any of your own financial decisions. So with that in mind, my potential trade for next week is to sell to open three put option contracts at a strike of 25 with an expiry date of June 16 at a potential premium of around 95 cents. I'll be explaining the details of this trade and what led me to select this underlying stock in the rest of this video. So on to the analysis. Urban Outfitters is a US-based retail outlet with brands that target young adults with the merchandise mix of women's and men's fashion apparel, footwear, beauty and wellness products, accessories, activewear, housewares, and music, primarily vinyl records and cassettes. The company was founded in 1970 with a single retail store in Philadelphia, where its headquarters remain to this day. It now employs 26,000 staff worldwide, operating in the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, Western Europe, and the Middle East. And it currently owns over 650 stores worldwide, with the vast majority being in the United States, over 80%. The company went public on November the 1st, 1993, and as you can see, its stock price grew substantially from 2003 onwards, smashing through an impressive 1,500% increase. It currently has a market cap of 2.5 billion, placing it just inside the mid-size market cap group. Looking more recently, it has easily outperformed the S&P 500 over the past 12 months, showing an increase of over 10.5% compared to the S&P 500's minus 6%. And year to date, it has performed even better, rising over 11.5%. So how about its performance outlook? And why have I shortlisted this stock? After running a screener on TradingView, I quickly analyzed the resulting stocks, looking at recent earnings and key fundamentals, chart technical analysis, company news, and analyst forecasts. From that data, the stock that stood out was URBN. And why is that? Well, when choosing a stock to trade the options wheel strategy on, you must ask yourself one fundamental question. Would I be happy to own this stock? Firstly, its potential premium is particularly good compared to the other underlying stocks. However, high premium shouldn't be the only selection criteria. Don't forget, if things don't go well, you could end up getting assigned the underlying stock and a poorly performing company may take a long time to recover or even worse, never return to the heights of the price you ended up buying the stock for, leaving you bag holding a loss making investment. Now, in URBN's case, indicators stood out which convinced me that if I were to be assigned this stock, I would be confident holding it and selling it in the near term for a total overall profit. I'd certainly be happy buying it at the strike of $25 per share. Let's look at the factors which has led to this decision. There have been quite a few positive headlines for URBN recently, especially from Zach's Equity Research, who positively adore this stock right now. They have upgraded their Zacks rank to the highest level of one, meaning it's a strong buy. In addition, they have graded the stock with A for value, B for growth, and A for momentum. They go on to explain their positive outlook in a couple of recent articles, saying that investors should feel comfortable knowing that URBN is likely seeing its earnings outlook improve to a greater extent, and also singling out its PE PEG and PB ratios as impressive, concluding these metrics and several others help URBN earn a value grade of A. In another glowing article, Zach says that URBN is trading at a reasonable valuation in terms of price to sales ratio, which is considered one of the best valuation metrics. The stock looks quite cheap now. URBN is currently trading at 0.52 times its sales. In other words, investors need to pay only 52 cents for each dollar of sales. 
So URBN appears to have plenty of room to run and that too at a fast pace. Also taking a look at Urban Outfitters recently, the Motley Fool's April 20th article highlights Urban Outfitters as a stock to potentially buy, saying Urban Outfitters stock is up 5.5% over the past year. That compares to a decline of 5% for the S&P 500 index over the same span, which is pretty impressive outperformance. They also point to Urban Outfitters' strong performance in comparison to rival companies, stating, the teen-oriented fashion retailer looks even better when you compare it to peers like American Eagle Outfitters and Abercrombie & Fitch. These two retailers have fallen 21% and 27% respectively over the past 12 months. Urban Outfitters' business has been holding up fairly well as peers struggled. For example, in fiscal 2023, Urban Outfitters sales rose 5.4% compared to flat sales at both American Eagle and Abercrombie & Fitch over the same time frame. Furthermore, nine analysts' stock price targets for URBN at tip ranks shows an average upside of 13.19%. The analyst with the most pessimistic price target still priced it at its current price and the highest has it with a 30% upside. Looking at the retail industry forecast, there is more positive news with the National Retail Federation publishing in March that retail sales are expected to grow between 4 and 6% in 2023, saying that while we expect growth to moderate in the year ahead, it will remain positive as retail sales stabilize to more historic levels. Hopefully, Urban Outfitters will be one of the retail outlets that takes advantage of that industry growth. Looking at some key financials, we can see that price to earnings is currently 15.72, which is much lower than the apparel retail industry average of 23.46. So that's a good start and echoes what Zacks was stating about URBN's value. Looking at revenue growth, we can see that revenues have increased at a decent rate of 39% over the past three years to over $4.8 billion. You can also see good figures for gross profit and operating income. Net income has been positive for the past couple of years. Onto their balance sheet and their current assets versus current liabilities. And current assets are valued at $1.2 billion compared to the current liabilities of $890 million, a very positive weighting. And they have over $200 million in cash, which would come close to covering their short-term debt if required over to free cash flow, and you can see they have a sizable amount of cash on hand of $180 million, although this has fallen somewhat from 2021, most probably due to the financial requirements of company growth. Just a couple of quick stats, EBITDA margin is 8.5%, and while this doesn't look particularly impressive, it still outperforms the retail industry average, which is around 6%. Return on equity shows a decent return of 9%, Return on capital is on the low side at 6%, something you'd hope the management team are working on improving. Finally, the debt to equity is well under one, indicating that the company is easily funding the majority of its activities. Overall, the fundamental performance of Urban Outfitters is sound for a mid-cap retail company, especially considering the economic climate it is operating in. This is important to know as we want to select companies that can survive in times of economic hardship and thrive when things are good. Okay, so here we have the daily chart showing the past 12 months. URBN has been on a good upward trend, rising above its 200 day simple moving average and 50 day simple moving average in the last quarter of 2022 and maintaining a level above them throughout 2023. Looking over the past six months, the stock is bouncing nicely off the plus two and minus two standard deviation lines and is now sitting just below the zero standard deviation, which is a good place to open a trade. Setting the strike at $25 would mean the stock would have to fall by approximately 1.5 standard deviations or 7% in value for us to get assigned. The stock is trading nicely above the rising 200 day simple moving average, which is a must when selecting a stock. It has also just moved back above the 50 day simple moving average and has been very closely following this line for the past four months, yo-yoing above and below it consistently. 
Additionally, the stock closed on Friday just above its nine day simple moving average, which is good to see. I'll be watching for continued movement above this line on Monday to get confirmation of price momentum before pulling the trigger on this trade. There is clear support at the 26 and $25.5 levels, as well as in the $25 region where our strike is set. The 14 day RSI has been hovering around the 50 line since the beginning of the year and has a way to go before being considered in the overbought territory. Finally, looking at the option chain for our trade, we can see that at the strike of 25, delta is 0.28, which is below the 0.3 maximum. Also, it is a low price stock, so it's ideal for option traders with a limited capital. One option trade at the strike of $25 only requires $2,500 of capital to cover assignment, or just $1,250 if you're using 50% margin. Come next week, I'll be keeping my eye on this stock to see if it can show confirmation above the nine day simple moving average before opening the trade. And there we go. Hopefully that was a useful and informative video. Please let me know if you have any questions or other trading ideas down in the comments below. And also please like and subscribe to receive more option trading ideas videos. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more option trading videos, head on over to our website at wheeloptiontraders.com. Here you'll find our options wheel strategy trading video course. We have over 50 videos and counting from the basics of understanding and trading options through to using the wheel strategy to get the most out of your options trading. We also have an amazing options wheel strategy tool that you can download. It tracks all your trades in real time and provides key insights to help you with your options trading decisions.